Treasure farming has got to be the absolute worst mechanic in Battle Cats, forcing the players to repeat the same boring stage over and over again in order to get what basically are very crucial upgrades in order to advance through the game is absurd. If you go through the app store reviews in Metal Cats and check the ones with low star reviews, chances are they're stuck somewhere in Empire of Cats and I can assume that most of these are due to lack of treasures. This was a mechanic that has been implemented on release since 2012 in which at that time stories of legends didn't even exist. At that point, treasures made more sense since the game has very little content into it so treasures are basically made to give these fake impression of a good reason to replay stages. And since there aren't that many stages, treasures won't affect the game in a massive way since there's not much to go through anyways. But this is 2018, and we already got 48 main sub-chapters and stories of legends, as well as countless of event stages and not forgetting 3 Into the Future chapters and 2 Cats of the Cosmos chapters in which these both too has treasure farming mechanics implemented into them. For some unknown reasons, Pono still kept this mechanic for all these years. Perhaps they did hear some of the outcry and well, they did something about it, which was treasure festivals that now appear often to make farming less tedious, if you know the schedule that is, and the more recent one added in 5.6 which is the addition of zombie outbreaks. Outbreaks are actually quite simple, once a player beats EOC 1, the entire chapter now has a chance for an outbreak to appear randomly between one of the 47 levels that aren't moon, because moon is always last. When you clear an outbreak, you're rewarded with 10 cat food and a Z medal for a stage you've completed which gets placed next to the stage name at the top of the screen, right next to the treasure icon for that stage. The next outbreak will then appear after a certain period of time in other random stages that hasn't gotten an outbreak. When the player obtains every Z medals in a specific treasure set, the drop rate of treasures in those levels increase by an undefined amount. Additionally, if a player collects all 48 Z medals in a chapter, they'll permanently increase their max energy by 50. Outbreaks also seems to appear less commonly over time, which means you'll get the last few medals slower than the ones before. All of this applies to all three chapters of Vampire of Cats, so when you clear EOC 2, Outbreak will start appearing in EOC 2, and just recently on update 7.4, we are also getting Outbreaks in Into the Future Chapter 1. So yeah, Outbreak sounds pretty neat, plus 50 max energy and 480 cat food per chapter, which totals to 1440 for all of Empire of Cats. And it can increase treasure sense as you clear it, so treasure farming won't be as boring. Not to mention, you only need to clear Outbreak once instead of repeating it over and over like general treasure farming. Uh, well, unfortunately, this whole idea has massive flaws everywhere. First of all, the nature of Outbreaks and how it rewards player has completely zero compatibility. As I explained earlier, to increase the treasure chance in those stages you've done, you need to complete the zombie outbreaks for the entire set of stages in one treasure set, meaning that you'd want to finish specific sets of stages to increase your treasure chance. But the appearance on which stages gets an outbreak is random meaning you can't choose which stages you'd want to increase treasure chance on. When and which one you unlock is completely out of your control, not to mention that the appearance of each outbreak has a long and fairly random interval, reportedly ranging from hours to days at times. Outbreaks also doesn't stay forever, they disappear after a while and if you miss it then you'll have to wait for it to appear again. Now, let's look at this case. The first treasure set in Battle Cat's Energy Drink consists of first 7 levels from Korea to Japan. In order to receive the benefits and increased treasure drop rates for the levels in the Energy Drink set, you would need to clear the outbreaks in Korea, Mongolia, China, Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines, and Japan. Due to the rate of appearance and random order, aiming to increase the treasure rates for these levels would be insanely unrealistic. And in these almost 2 years since Z medals have been released, I have never met or heard of a player who has actually made use of the increased treasure drop rates from Z medals. Another problem with Outbreak is the difficulty of it. Let's take this scenario again. Let's just say you clear chapter 1 without getting energy drink. Due to not activating this, you'd have a big chance that you would get stuck in the latter chapters. Let's just say that you're now in chapter 2 and out of the 7 stages, you have got all of the treasures with the exception of Philippines to activate energy drink. So you move back to chapter 1 with the intention of getting treasures from Philippines just to find out that Philippines is having an outbreak. You might think, well, hey, two birds in one stone, right? You can clear the outbreak to get the cat food and Z medal while farming treasures. But then consider this, being on chapter 2 means that your cats are stuck at level 10, which at that point your cats are heavily under level to fight against outbreak zombies. 
suddenly giving new mechanics to learn and strong enemies that appear too early for players means that outbreaks can ironically block you from getting treasures in the first place. Of course, this scenario isn't entirely likely and can be avoided by farming Z medals before clearing the chapter or just waiting it out, but at that point, what the hell is the point of Z medals? By the time you are strong enough to beat zombie outbreaks, you are likely already owning most of the treasures anyway and have gotten through the pain of repeating certain stages 10 to 20 times. Here's one thing that I personally have issues on, and I've also heard some others complaining about it the same. In my BCJP save file, I knew to not focus on outbreaks and just do them when I remembered to during my EOC and Into the Future phase. But there are a lot of times where I would forget that outbreaks even exist and just continue my way through stories of legends as well as cast of the cosmos. And the game wouldn't really remind you that outbreak exists until either 1 for some reason you check Empire of Cats or something or 2 when you barely have enough cat food to do a guaranteed role on a limited set and badly needs cat food. Or well 3 with the addition of Into the Future outbreaks maybe you checked on Into the Future again for some reason and saw an outbreak and remembers EOC outbreaks unless you've already cleared and farmed into the future treasures in which, again, why would you go check into the future once more? Countless players are stuck on early SOL and even EOC due to lack of treasures and outbreaks do absolutely nothing to help. If any, it could only make things worse by walling you back due to its difficulty compared to its original level. The meat of the game are all past these tests of might we call as treasure grinding, and it's kind of saddening to see many people getting turned off from playing battle cats as they're tired from treasure grind and ended up not being able to enjoy the meat of the game at all. Back when Crash Fever did a collab with Battle Cats, there's this deal where you can get rewards in Crash Fever by completing an event stage in Battle Cats, and same goes the other way where we can get the unit Happy 100 by clearing a stage in Crash Fever. Now back then when we tried to get our hands on Happy 100, it only take us a day or a bit more of learning the game and progressing through the events before eventually clearing the event stage we need to clear to obtain Happy without needing to grind or repeating previous stages over and over again. This however is not what Crash Fever players experienced in playing Battle Cats, as they're given weak starting units and have to progress throughout the entire Empire of Cats Chapter 1 to even get all the basic cats and make a health decent team, then having to farm treasures to even stand a chance against the collab event stages that they need to clear to get their clear rewards. Sure, both of the clear rewards isn't really important and Happy 100 are pretty useless, but frankly as far as I'm concerned, Battle Cats didn't really receive much new players from Crash Fever that actually stays. Meanwhile, a huge amount of Battle Cats player, including myself, ended up playing Crash Fever for a huge amount of time before dropping it after months and months of playing. Meanwhile, several others like Alici, Chilhola, and some others still play to this day, and a fair amount of players even left Battle Cats for Crash Fever. If you go to Crash Fever Discord right now and, and ask someone who used to play Battle Cats, I'm sure there's a lot of them. If you go to any Battle Cats community hub or any Battle Cats Discord server, and instead, ask if there's any Crash Fever player that transfers to Battle Cats due to the collab, I guarantee you that you're gonna take forever to find one, cause I never found one myself. Now Crash Fever collab is coming back. Currently, it's only announced in BCJP, but I doubt it would leave EN behind since they already collabed once before. We would have to see if Ponos actually realized how much of a turn-off treasure grinding is in general and provide a solution that actually helps, unlike Z Metals. If they don't, I'm afraid this collab will once again only move BC players towards Crash Fever and thus nothing in favor of Battle Cats. That's all for now. This whole script was basically stolen off Mr. Failology. Credits for pretty much everything said on the script goes to him, I just made some parts to feel more fitting to how I would say it, but the whole thing is basically his. This is something that has been postponed for god knows when, and with the introduction of Into the Future zombie outbreaks, I think this is a fairly fitting timing to make this video. Please tell us your thoughts on Z-Metals in the comment, we would like to see the suggestions you can give to fix the whole outbreak and treasure farming, and we're also waiting for that one guy that actually uses Z-Metals to increase treasure chance. Also, if anyone knows about or knows where to get information about how exactly this outbreak schedule works, like how long it takes to appear, how long it stays, etc., and the effect of Z medals, like how much it increases treasure chance, uh, please tell me in the comments because I am actually curious about these. That is all. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.